So recently Hive added the bridge and me along with most of the people in the community absolutely hate it so I thought today I'd give you lot 10 reasons why Hive bridge sucks. Number one, no hotbar change. So when you go into a bridge game, you'll see that the layout in the hotbar might be different to what you usually have it at in different servers. In most servers, you can sort of change the hotbar so your hotkeys go to the right place and it works properly. But in Hive, you can't do that. So um, yeah, people are gonna have to learn to use their hotkeys a bit differently. And I think that sucks. You should be able to change your hotkeys. I mean, come on. Number two, height limit. On Hive bridge, the height limit is way, way, way too high. Like, you could literally just build up and then jump bridge over them, and then just drop down and you've scored yourself a goal. It's ridiculous. It's so stupid. Which leads me on to my next point quite nicely. Bridging. As I briefly mentioned before, in Hive Bridge, a lot of people just jump bridge. And this is a massive problem, because uh, in the bridge community, there's sort of an unwritten rule that you shouldn't really jump bridge in Bedrock Bridge, because it just takes the fun away from the game, it's way too OP, and it's just boring and bad. But I guess the Hive community hasn't learnt that yet, so um, yeah, it's really annoying. People are just making new bridges on the side, over the top, and you can't even do anything. It's ridiculous. Number four, Leap. So when you go into a bridge game, you'll be greeted with this. You have a choice of three. Gapples, Snowballs, and Leap. It's sort of like bridge kits in a way, so you've got like a special item for a bridge game, basically. And I thought this was really good. Um, I like how Hive are making their bridge unique and not just copying every other one. But... I do think the leap is way too overpowered. It's a bit like the death run leap and you just right click it and I mean it, it's it's super OP. Like you take away the whole point of racing in this game. So like if you're racing someone and they chose like snowballs or something and you have a leap, you've won the race basically. It's completely broken. I, I use it just because everyone else does and it's kind of hard to play without it if everyone else is. But I think it's a really unfair advantage on those who are not using leap and I think it should be removed. Number five, voiding. So voiding is a strategy used in the bridge. Usually when you go for a race with someone and you know they're going to win, so you'll jump off the edge so you respawn at your base and hopefully kill them. But in Hive, it's a bit different. For some reason, it takes absolutely ages to respawn. It's ridiculous. It takes about five seconds to respawn because it's like water instead of void. So you need to die, then respawn back at your base. And it's just silly. They should definitely change it so you respawn instantly like every other bridge server. And this brings me smoothly onto my next point. When you die, you don't get your stuff back. Like for instance, in the bridge, if you're having a hippo game and you're done with your hippo, you've placed all your blocks around the goal and yeah, 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 you're done with your hippo, usually you'll jump off the edge so you get your blocks back and everything because you usually have quite little blocks because you've used them all up on the hippo. So you jump off the edge and get your blocks back and then play, if that makes sense. But on Hive, no, you don't get your stuff back unless you score, which I think is just silly to be honest. And speaking of hippos, this is actually the next point. Number seven, hippos. So if, you don't, so if you don't know what a hippo is, it's basically a strategy where you place a bunch of blocks in front or over your goal to stop your enemy to getting to your goal as fast. But on the hive, it's kind of hard to hippo. I, I kind of figured out a way. Here's a little way I, I managed to hippo on the hive. It's kind of weird. It's not the best and it doesn't really work very well. But it is a way. I don't think it's very good. They should definitely change it so you can properly hippo on the goal. So yeah. Number eight, bad map. As of current, Hive Bridge only has one map, and it's kind of trash to be honest. The bridge is way too small, the stairs are useless because you can just place two blocks there and jump onto the goal anyway. You can't hippo properly, and it's just a bad map overall. They should definitely add more. Number 9, queuing. Even though Hive Bridge averages around 100 players at a time, it's still quite a hassle to actually get into a game. Because you have to wait in the lobby, and then once someone else queues you, you have to wait in the bridge lobby for ages, then ages in the cage, and sometimes it takes longer to queue than to actually play because it's only first to three goals. It's just ridiculous, it takes so long to queue, and they should definitely make the queue times a lot shorter. Number 10, my last point of this video, is glass bridge. So underneath the top layer of the bridge, instead of it being solid blocks, it's actually glass. And why is this a problem, you may ask? The problem is, there's this strategy called wall running in the bridge, and it's basically trying to bypass your opponent by running along the side of the bridge while placing blocks under you. But the fact that it's glass makes it a little bit harder, because in most texture packs, glass is clear, and so... It makes it a bit harder to wall run because you can't really see the blocks properly. Anyways, those are 10 of the many reasons why a lot of the community think Hive Bridge is really bad at the minute. Thank you for watching this video and I will see you all next time.